This is part two of our five part series. We're going to go from Balacrane to Balaf with Michael Rutter on board the KTM Super Duke R Evo. Okay, so this is part two of the video now. We're going to go from on board with Michael Rutter on the KTM Super Duke R Evo from Balacrane all the way down to Balaf. Over to you, Michael. Yeah, we're just looking at the speed, it's frightening really. 57 mile an hour around. Uh, uh, Balacrane and it's just um, frightening the speeds, the constant speeds at the TT and um, this is when I thought oh my god thank god for corners, um, I was just like my helmet freed from the top of my head and uh, um, it's just now this section just absolutely beautiful flowing through Glenn, especially at the sound of the KTM and uh, and the, you know the tyres, the tyres through here are all up to temperature, Metzler's uh, um, the grip from them, just like I say, it, they were absolutely fine for what I was doing at the, the speeds I was doing here. There. And I've got some fair old speeds, I don't know what lap time we did in the end on it, did we? Uh, I think it was around about 110 mile an hour average, something yeah. like that, yeah. You know, it's a fair old speed on something there, uh, on a... Uh, There's a lot of direction changes here, and that, that's where these naked bikes, usually on the road, at road speeds, feel, feel the best. I yeah, know, that's how it. I mean, well, the, you know, exactly. The, you got obviously the leverage from the handlebars, and uh, it's quite easy to turn. And it's uh, it was just so different. Um, the bike's quite low, got not much ground clearance, so I'm a bit worried in places. You know, uh, uh, into Glen Allen where the commentary box was there, it, it was um, you know grounding out. That's you do have to be a bit careful with things like we've got normally on race bikes, and you throw them into corners like that, not worry about it. But, uh, you know... Looks like you did most of that section in fourth, occasionally fifth gear. Pretty much did most of that in one gear, by the looks. Yeah. <coughs> the, the, bike, the bike was uh, really grunty, flying, and you can see how stable, like, lots of bikes obviously twitch around here. You see a little bit of twitching, but... Yeah, that's, that's normal. Yeah, it's normal, like, um, so it just shows you how, you know, the bike was handling. It says you've got um, 50 miles range left there on the uh, on the fuel there, was that? Yeah, that was a bit... That, is that, it? that was, <laughs> I never noticed that until, uh, <laughs> until it was too later late. on. <laughs> we'll get to that later. So where are we here? There's lots of high speed jumps, where are we? That's yeah, so, so basically, uh, with um, this part of the track, it's going, it's, it's very flowing, very smooth part of the track, so you get, you know, 100, you know, on the KTM, like 130 mile, oh my God, you know, what we're doing on the, going down towards Handley's here, it's, you know, it's frightening really. Don't even break, so shut off, look at that through. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's close, isn't it? And um, through, uh, John will give, sure will give me a few pounds if I say it's there's McGuinness's corner. Don't know what they named him after that for, but anyway. <laughs> what was that moving, moving on. <laughs> um, moving on. Hello. Uh, and, um, you know, back up to, and like you said, the wind force again, back again. It's like, it, it was, uh, it's not only a short time, it's the constant bits, what you said. Just now. the bit we've looked at here, these first two parts. This is like coming up to the bottom of the garrow. This is probably one of the frightening bits. I didn't know what it was going to do here. So basically, I just, I was so gentle through there. Um, and obviously the camera coming back. But is yeah. a massive bump, yeah. isn't it? I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's like a speed up. It's a uh, sort of drop it's, into it. It, it yeah. just drops and just Did that. anything touch down on no, the No, it didn't, it didn't. Okay. No, no, and tires and, you know, it just everything held up fantastically. So coming up to Kirk Michaels next, I think, isn't it? Yeah, um, okay. soon coming up into Kirk Michael. Um, the, what's the going down to the middle of a village though? That's always... Uh, yeah, when you're coming down here, it's... Um, the speed really get you start dropping down to Douglas Douglas Corner, I think Douglas Road Corner, and um, this is when you really feel speed on a on on the TT course. Uh, Kurt Michael, you've got very very narrow the houses either side of you built up, and you know, the bikes jumping around on the road. Um, Can hardly really see the road. Yeah, it's like. Do you ever get used to that? Yeah, you do. You do get used to it, and it's this second bit just coming through the village here it's like really narrow and especially with the bars out wide it's uh you have to keep it i, can't, in I, can't, I want to look at it through, through, yeah. through the fingers of my hands <laughs> so yeah this is all uh very very can you pop out the other side yeah, of Kirk Michael it's, it's, now? It's, 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 it's coming up to Solby aren't we soon yeah, Solby's a bit yeah we've got to go a bit further on because that's the highest speed part on the course, isn't it? Yeah. So that's, that'll be in the next. Do Glen Tramond here. Um, this is always a real, really enjoyable bit, especially you get the low tree cover, so it's hard to see. You can see the light, light and day. And um, what are the bumps like through these sections? It's quite bumpy through here. And if you 
if you the quicker you go, the easier it is. Uh, that's it skips, yeah, it skips the the jumps, the jumps, but uh, yeah, you know everything was fine really. And, and the bike, the tyres felt nice and stable through here. Yeah. yeah, like you know, um, it says you, you, do, <laughs> <laughs> you do. You're going to get that though. Yeah. That's a lot is when you're just picking the bike up from top dead centre. Um, it just gets a bit uneven. But now we're coming in towards Balaf now, and uh, yeah, so this is the end of part two and uh, just adjusted the camera there for the jump just, uh, just for a little jump <laughs> <laughs>